This is the Dell Latitude E7240. And it's a laptop from 2014. It's quite compact. It's got a 12.5 inch screen. It's got quite a lot of ports on it. So on this side, we've got a high speed USB. We've got a display port and a headphone jack, as well as an SD card reader down here. On the back, we have got the power connector, two high speed USB connections, HDMI out and ethernet here. And on this side, we have got the Wi-Fi switch and the output for the ventilation for the cooling. And I've got this power cable that's got a light on it, which is quite nice. And then we've got some lights here. And then inside, we've got a keyboard that also lights up like that. Got the trackpad and mouse buttons. Got a range of function keys dotted around. And before I show you the sort of the operating system and what's on here, I thought we could have a look at what's inside there's volume controls here as well it's more lights there so just flip it over and show you what we have so this is a locking latch that is for the battery and this can just come straight out underneath we've got the windows sticker key and then there's a cover here that's covering this ribbon cable and there are two screws here that I've already removed. Once those are removed, this can slide forwards like that. And then that reveals the memory and it's using um, DDR3 RAM. So this is PC3L, low power low voltage DDR3L and there's two slots there there's an MSATA here and there's also another slot here for another MSATA so you can have two drives in this system so that's quite a neat feature for a small laptop and then we've got the cooling here with this here and these are sort of um, this I think this where we've got the power connector here and that's socketed so if there's any problems that can be replaced and then it's also got this docking connection so that you can connect it to a docking station so this is quite a nice laptop here's the wi-fi card it's really easy to access um, the internals and that just slides back on then the battery just clicks back into place so yeah, it's a small laptop, it's got an i5 processor, and this has currently got 8GB of RAM, uh, it's got built-in Wi-Fi, and we've, I've got it set up with Linux Mint. So I'll switch this on for you and boot this system up, and we'll have a quick look in Linux just to have a quick look at the sort of performance of the system. And um, if I go into here, I can remove the um, quiet option so that we can see all this sort of fun to watch Linux uh, beat up things coming up. So I just pressed E to edit the startup and then F10 to actually start. And then we get all these sort of command line stuff coming along here. And I don't know how I've ended up with this huge um, keyboard as part of the logon um, system. <clears throat> so logging in, I've got Linux Mint on here and the Plasma desktop. So here we've got system monitor with CPU, disk and memory. And we've got Quake 3 Arena and Minecraft. So I'll just start these because why not? Um, 
hopefully it doesn't take too long if I get it up and running. Quake 3 um, works fine as far as I can remember. And this is Quake 3 running fine and we don't really need to see this but yeah really responsive works great and I think we're still booting Minecraft we've got Firefox over here and this laptop is available from eBay for quite cheap it's sort of they start around 45 pounds 50 pounds with 8 gigabytes of RAM and an SSD and it seems like you're gonna have to pay more if you want an IBM ThinkPad X240 perhaps if you want one working this one says parts only and it's a good option if kind of the ThinkPad laptops are unavailable or more expensive um, A lot of parts only options here for example and then someone wants a hundred pounds for one of these um, whereas this laptop you can get for about um, 45 pounds or 50 pounds um, I've put the wrong number in there okay so let's go find one that's working uh, showing us batteries so you can get a replacement parts quite easily parts 30 pounds parts 30 pounds one without an operating system 45 pounds one that looks to be working about 40 49 parts oh it's sort of the same <laughs> there's lots of ones for parts but there are ones that are working about 50 55 pounds and it's kind of like everybody seems to go for thinkpads and there's obvious reasons why people do go for thinkpads but i think these dell latitude business style laptops are worth looking at as well especially if you can find it for cheaper and yeah this works great this system um here's minecraft let's just start the demo Uh, YouTube runs fine on it. Um, there's Minecraft. I'm trying to fit as much as possible into a video. Um, so I'm trying to do multiple things at the same time. Um, but it, I guess that makes for a little bit of a disjointed video. So it's a little bit slow at the startup, but it does kind of oh, chickens. Definitely playable, and we could adjust the settings to get better performance if we have a look. Seventeen frames per second isn't great. I think we're also running YouTube, aren't we? So um, that's bound to um, slow things down. So you can see here on this video playback that we're currently using about 38 to 20% um, for the playback. So it's coping quite well with YouTube playback. It's not really an issue for this system. Yeah, 
Yeah, we can look at NeoFetch. This is Mint 22.1, Plasma 5.2711. And the laptop's using about 10 watts at the moment. It's quite low, um, but that does increase when it's doing something. I won't really go over um, Linux Mint um, except to quickly say how nice this kind of plasma desktop looks. Um, we've got transparency, we've got ability to snap windows to different areas um, as needed. And then there's also, um, you can sort of, the windows are kind of magnetic as well, I think. So yeah, you can, it's sort of attaching itself to this window. And if I had a, um, like a really large screen that I was using, that'd be really useful because you could then have three different sort of rows of, um, applications if you wanted that, um, something that doesn't really seem to be available in windows. As far as I'm aware, could be wrong. Um, but yeah, this is just a nice little laptop that works really well. And in terms of, you know, a laptop for general use, this Dell seems really good. Um, especially considering you can get it for such a low price, you know. This HB stream was £25 and struggles with two gigabytes of RAM. This Dell laptop you can get for £50 and you've got plenty of RAM, plenty of storage, a nice keyboard, solid build quality, um, lots of ports, full size HDMI, as well as um, network socket as well. So yeah, if you're able to, if you're looking for a cheap laptop, Go for something that lets you easily upgrade to eight gigabytes of RAM. And yeah, this business laptop is a great choice. Thanks to all the channel members and subscribers. Feel free to click subscribe and leave a comment below. What is your favorite laptop? Obviously, if you live on YouTube, everybody's favorite laptop is an IBM ThinkPad. But uh, what about? Dells, HP, others, what are good and what do people not know about, you know, what are the bargains out there for quality laptops. Thanks for watching and goodbye. Here's Minecraft and here's the power consumption, about 33 watts. And here's the frame rate, we're getting about 50 frames per second now that it's all sort of calmed down and fully loaded and we're not doing much on the desktop. So, there we go. Here's the chicken. Nope.